What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the best Steam VR performance or VR performance in general in 2026. So it is the start of the year. A lot of things have changed since I made the last video. I made the last video about three years ago now, which is pretty crazy to think about. But I'm going to show you guys how to get the best performance regardless in 2026. So the first things you're going to want to do are driver related. So you're going to open the two links in the description, the first two. It should open up a page like this that says driver version 566.36 and another page like this that says display driver uninstaller. Download the display driver uninstaller as well as download the game ready driver. And once you have those files downloaded, right click on the display driver uninstallers.zip file and click extract all and the folder should pop up right here. Double click on it and click display driver uninstaller.exe and then click extract and the folder should be here. Double click that and click display driver uninstaller.exe. Click yes to the UAC prompt and this should open up. Just click okay right here and click close. Click okay again. So this is basically uninstalling your drivers to make sure the new drivers you're installing are installed correctly. Click on select device type, GPU, and if you have an AMD card, select AMD. If you have an NVIDIA card, select NVIDIA, and then click on clean and restart. But once you do that, it'll restart your computer and your drivers will be successfully uninstalled. Go ahead and close out of that and go back into your downloads. Double click on the 566.36 driver for NVIDIA and then install that. Once that's installed successfully, that is the driver portion for NVIDIA done. Now, this is the portion for AMD GPUs. I do not have an AMD GPU. If I had an AMD GPU, I'd be able to better explain this, but I'm pretty sure the latest version for AMD should be perfectly fine. So go ahead and install the latest GPU driver for AMD. And then once that's done, close out of that. Always make sure before reverting drivers, you use display driver uninstaller because that is the safest method to reverting drivers. Now we're gonna go on to the Steam VR optimizations. Go ahead and open Steam, launch Steam VR. Now once Steam VR is open, click on the top left corner, settings, and click on video. Now once you're in video, turn off motion smoothing, render resolution, set that to custom and set that to 100% of what your headset is. For me, that's 3560 by 3560. So set that to 100. If you have a high resolution headset, I say above probably like 2000 by 2000 turn off advanced super sample filtering if you notice a quality jump from off or on set it to whatever the highest quality is then go ahead and set overlay render quality to low if you don't see overlay render quality or advanced super sample filtering make sure advanced settings are set to show and that's going to be it for the steam vr setting optimizations there's also a application called ovr dynamic resolution and it aims to decrease or increase the resolution based on your frame times. I personally have never used it. I have it in my Steam library, but you guys could try that out. Tell me how that goes in the comments below. But I've heard this helps a lot of people. The next thing we're going to optimize is Windows itself. So go ahead and right click on the desktop. Click on NVIDIA control panel if you have an NVIDIA GPU. Once that opens up, go to manage 3D settings. Scroll down until you see power management mode and make sure that's set to prefer maximum performance. Scroll down to where it says texture filtering and set that to high performance. Scroll down even more, make sure threaded optimization is set to on and make sure triple buffering is also set to on. Go ahead and click on apply and then close out of NVIDIA control panel. Go to the bottom left hand corner, click on the Windows icon and type in Power Plan and click on Edit Power Plan. Once that opens up, click on Power Options and you should see two plans here. I only have one because I disabled the other one, but you should see Balanced and High Performance. Um, if you have a 9950X 3D processor, 9900X 3D processor, 7950X 3D processor or a 7900X 3D processor, 
don't set it to high performance. That's the reason I don't have high performance here because I disabled it because some apps would automatically force it for some reason. So I just keep it on balanced. If you have any of those CPUs, keep it on balanced. If you have any other CPU, set it to high performance and then close out of that. Now onto the VR chat optimizations. Go ahead and search for VR chat, click on it and click on the settings icon, go to properties and you will see launch options here. So it'll just be blank for you. In the launch option setting, go minus minus process minus priority equals two. So you want process priority equals two for every CPU. If you have a 7950X3D or a 9950X3D only, click on the spacebar, click on dash twice or minus twice, affinity equals FFFF. If you have a 7900X3D or a 9900X3D, remove one of those Fs. So this is what my process priority would look like right here. Process priority two, and affinity FFFF. And then close out of that. Now what you're gonna wanna do, click on play in VR chat. We're gonna make some optimizations in the game. Now once you're in the game, open your launch pad, click on the settings icon, and open the main menu. Then click on graphics, and turn off anti-aliasing. You'll notice a pretty big jump if you have it on like four times or eight times even. Um, I don't know why anyone would play with anti-aliasing on. Disable that. It hurts performance, probably the number one performance killer in the game, uh, besides avatars, obviously. Uh, scroll down, set everything to low. Everything should be on low. If you notice a jump in quality, bump these up until you notice a jump in performance. So for me, it's everything on medium. Everything on medium is where I can get away with good performance as well as good quality. Um, so these are my settings. If you want to copy them exactly, everything on medium, anti-aliasing off. And the next section is avatars. This is, avatar calling is probably the biggest thing. Hide avatars beyond 25 meters and maximum shown avatars 15. Um, you could mess with these overrides here. Always show friend avatars I have on. Always override with show avatar I have on. Another thing too, avatar download prioritization. This is more for like network and stuff like that, but it can also take a hit to your CPU because it's trying to uh, render more avatars. Prioritize by distance, I just have that set to 20 meters. And then prioritize friends, I have that turned on. I have maximum download size, 200 megabytes. Maximum uncompressed size, 500 megabytes. You should not have these this high if you go into public worlds a lot. I don't go into public worlds nearly as much, so I have these set pretty high. You could bump these down, uh, less risk of you getting crashed. And block poorly optimized avatars, I obviously have off because no one optimizes their avatars. Shield levels, I'm not gonna entirely go into um, all of that here because I mean, that's just personal preference. Um, and you can go ahead and close out of the game. And that's gonna pretty much be it for the 2026 Steam VR Performance Guide. I wanna thank you guys so much for the amount of support I've been receiving on every video. The other performance guide is just doing overwhelmingly good, and I cannot thank you guys enough. Thanks for 1,000 subs. Hopefully a great year in 2026 to come. I also want to give a huge shout out to Echo the Neko on Twitter. She has a really good PC VR performance guide that I took a lot of inspiration from. I have most of the stuff that she wrote down in the doc in this video, but the stuff that I don't have, I'll have a link in the description. Big shout out to her. But anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, and have a wonderful day.